Okay, in this video, we're gonna use the limit comparison test to decide if um, the sum from one to infinity of e to the one over n minus one converges or diverges. Um, so let's take a look. Um, so my first thought is maybe use the nth term test for divergence. So my thought was, let's try to take the limit. So I'm using x here because um, of something that I'm gonna do in a little bit. So uh, my thought is to find this limit, but e to the one over, so one over x goes to zero as x goes to infinity, which means e to the one over x goes to e to the zero, which is one. So this actually just goes to one minus one, which is zero. So the n term test for divergence hasn't told me that this thing definitely diverges, which means it hasn't really told me anything about the convergence. So now I start thinking like, well, that limit is zero, so maybe I could like force a, a L'Hopital's type thing. Um, so like, can we look at this thing and force zero over zero to happen? So I need to come up with another series that I'm gonna limit compare with. And if you look at the form of this, there's kind of like a hint of what you maybe might wanna go with. Um, I'm thinking one over X. So one over X uh, is as a series, it's the sum of one over n, which is harmonic, which is a famous series. We know that that diverges. So I'm gonna give that a shot and just see what happens. So I'm gonna set up my limit. We're gonna use one over x as our comparison series. So let's just check out the limit. So the limit is x approaches infinity of our given thing over one over x. And this we know, like we chose one over x to make zero over zero happen. Um, so this is definitely zero over zero. So that's a, a situation where I can use L'Hopital's rule. So I'm gonna use L'Hopital's rule and it's gonna become the limit as x approaches infinity. I need the derivative of the top, which is going to be e to the one over x times the derivative of one over x, which is negative one over x squared. And this is where this kind of thing um, is a, a really common thing to do. It's the chain rule created uh, that negative one over x squared when I take the derivative of the bottom, it's also going to be negative one over x squared. And so those just cancel out and I end up looking at just the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the one over x and that limit is definitely one. So I took the, the limit of the uh, kind of ratio, I guess, of one series over another and I got a positive finite value, which is the requirement for the limit comparison test. So now I know that they both do the same thing. So I just kind of have to write up my solution. Um, so I'm gonna compare this to the sum from one to infinity of just one over n, which is famous. It's the harmonic, I know it diverges. Uh, we already did the work, so I'm just gonna kind of write this. Uh, but if you were doing the work, I'd expect to see the limit kind of worked out somewhere. Uh, don't just like assert that that limit is one. And uh, so we've, we've found that limit and we know that this series diverges and we need to give a reason. So the reason I'm gonna give is that it's harmonic. You might choose to say it's a P series where P equals one and therefore diverges, either way. Um, and then we can definitely say therefore, the sum of E to the one over N minus one diverges as well by the limit comparison test. This is a really good example of using limit comparison test, I think. Um, has that sort of not obvious step of choosing the series you want to compare it to, uh, but that's a common thing. So when you get a limit that is zero and you're thinking maybe limit comparison, uh, consider looking at the thing. So e to the one over n minus one suggested to me that maybe one over n would be a good choice. And really the reason it's a good choice is because we're gonna end up using L'Hopital's rule and uh, it's gonna cancel some things out and uh, make everything a little simpler. But anyway, uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.